Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, January 26th, 2017 by Gaia Bloomy. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, as my emotions flow, my vibration goes. And we've got to remember this today as we are building into this new moon, as we're finishing up Mars in Pisces, and we're, as we're working with this powerful Venus energy, Venus connecting to Jupiter today in conjunct with Jupiter, master degree 22, still working on mastering that self-love, expanding that self-love process, um, and Venus connecting to Saturn tomorrow in that new moon energy. How are you showing up for this self-love? It's going to be shifting to 23. How are you expressing this self-love and today's going to be a really interesting day around this that's him expressing his self-love I don't know if you've heard that or not but he's prepared to express how much he loves himself for this recording so great yay <laughs> love hearing mahalo um but today is an interesting day as we build in this dark of the moon to the new moon energy the dark of the moon brings stuff up. It's the full expression of the moon. It's just not quite like the full moon. The full moon is like that full expression of the light. This is the full expression of the shadow. This is the full expression of the hidden. And I think we're getting to see that so much right now out there. I, you know, I keep talking to people who are like, I can't even be on Facebook because it's too much, all of this stuff. And I think that it may kind of come to a bit of a head today in where you personally stand in this. So we've got the moon in Capricorn conjunct Pluto. So, you know, on this emotional level, we're doing some transformational energy and asking us to show up. Can you show up for yourself? Can you show up for your emotions? As your emotions flow, so your vibration goes. You know, you've got to show up though for those not as easy emotions so that you can process them and allow those better feeling things to come through. We've got the moon squaring Uranus, 20 degrees. Are you nurturing yourself? Are you nurturing yourself through this shift, through this change? Are you showing up in a way that is authentic to your I am vibration? And then we have the moon squaring Jupiter. So we've got Jupiter still at that 22 degrees self love energy. Are you loving yourself through this? Are you showing up for yourself? Are you honoring your transformation? Are you honoring your I am? Are you nurturing your I am that's coming out through this energy? And then that Jupiter, are you loving yourself through this? And I want to read something. This is um, something that one of my Facebook friends posted uh, today. And it's so perfect as we go into this T-square because I'm really feeling in this T-square We've got this conditioning going. It's pick a side, pick a side, one of those sides. And, and both sides are like, no, you shouldn't think about that. You shouldn't think this. This is wrong. And it's like, be a mask, be a sheep. It's like, I'm a lion. Help. I'm going to just isolate myself. That's the story in pictures and cards. Um, what she said, and I really resonate with this personally, is I believe, and this is Sarah Shapeshiftera Sutherland, by the way, if you want to look her up. Um, she said, I believe that many of us star seeds, earth helpers, wanderers are here to hold the third point of the triangle to bridge the polarities. I wish I could remind you that your most powerful power is in this act. So often we try to become what we are not wired for, to fit ourselves into smaller boxes out of guilt related to privilege or all sorts of things. I wish I could tell you that it would be most helpful to people on earth if you expanded beyond these small boxes of right or wrong, um, beyond fear of or reactivity and release the guilt of embracing who you really are and what you really think. And when you do this, you will have more energy, more creativity to really help in the inspired leading edge way that you are wired for. And I really believe that this is this is part of it. This is part of getting past that patriarchy. It's part of getting past the conditioning of being told who you are and what you should believe and what you need to think. This third energy is very important. I can't pick a side and I can't be against either side. There are people I love on both sides. I see validity in a lot of different points. There's also a lot that, you know, grieve my heart on on both sides. And I there's a lot of not love. And so in this T-square, it's like this control. Who's going to take control? Who's going to be right? Who's going to be victorious? None of us are going to be victorious when we're fighting. And so there's this third energy that's like, okay, 
How can I be true to me? How can I honor myself? How can I honor my vibration? How can I honor my integrity? And that's what I believe we are being encouraged to do. Mars finishing up in Pisces, that 29th degree. Can you honor your flow? Venus connecting to Jupiter and Venus connecting to the moon. Can you honor your flow? Can you honor your worth? Can you honor what is true for you? And it may be that what's true for you is one of those sides. And if that's the case, honor that. Like, be true to you. Be true to what you feel. But please also take in mind, it takes all the colors that make up the world. You know, we all are playing a very important part in this energy. And I think the darker the moon may bring up some of this fighting. Again, you know, I've got this card, the totality. Oh, I've got both kitties here. Oh my goodness. You may see a cat fight happen. Or Mahal will just walk away. Um, but, you know, I think with this totality card and with what she said, beyond the idea of right doing and wrong doing, there's a field. I'll meet you there. That's where we need to go. You're not wrong for thinking this thing. You're not wrong for wanting the country to be great in this way. And you're not wrong either. But let's find a way that we can have peace and a way that we can have... She's going to go attack. <laughs> a way that we can have peace and a way that we can find a space for everybody's beliefs because everybody has a right to to live and to have their ideas heard and brought forward. And I just think we need to come more from that place. And speaking of that, I have such a beautiful card. I have the turtle card. I have gentle spirits. Card 34. Look at these gentle spirits being in the flow. It reminds me of Nemo. Like, come on, man. Dude, we're in the flow. Um, it says, this card would invite you to relax into this very moment. Meditate, doodle, daydream. Simply be. Resist the urge to get up and do something or feel guilty because you're not doing something. Give yourself permission to let your cares and woes fade from consciousness long enough that you may see into the moment and feel peace. Pause. And in this pause, allow your body, mind, and spirit to deeply enjoy the excellence. The excellence. Excellent, dude. <laughs> the excellence and ah, of simply being. You may receive messages and that's fine. Or with a bit of luck, you will genuinely be able to simply be and be in the flow. And the reverse is your monkey mind is running full tilt. Blow out the chaos and simply be. There's a lot of full tilt monkeys going on right now. We're finishing out the year of the monkeys. So of course we've got monkeys running rampant at this moment. But like, let's be the turtle. And then let's turn into the phoenix, the firebird, and let ourselves transform into this place where we are on this leading edge. And instead of being the resistance, we're being the change that we wish to see in the world. So that's it for me today. Book a reading if you want to dive in deeper, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.